After a few weird years, the world is finally your oyster. But like oysters, travel nowadays is pricier than ever. But don't put away that suitcase just yet. I'm here at the beautiful Halifax Stanfield International Airport with some budget-saving tricks that'll have you wheels up in no time. Budget airlines are an amazing option. Because of their package model, the base fare is gonna be super cheap and you only pay for the extras that you need. So if you pack light, that $79 flight to Montreal can be yours. One thing to consider is that budget airlines typically don't have big fleets, which means that if there are any issues, you might have to wait a while. Points programs are a great way to save money on flights, hotels, and rental cars even if you don't have a credit card. A few things you're gonna to want to consider before you pick out your points program is flexibility, how you earn your points, and how easy it is for you to redeem them. Taxes can be a bit confusing. Some programs make you pay cash, while others let you use points. It varies from program to program. Getting to and from the airport can be really expensive. Try taking the bus. In Halifax, it only costs $4.25 to get to the airport. In fact, Local transit is a cheap option no matter where you're headed. But if you do want to rent a car, try Turo.com. It's like the Airbnb of car rental. I always bring snacks and a reusable water bottle. If I save money on that stuff, then I can go to a cool restaurant later. I actually like to get my favorite beverages before I even leave to enjoy in my hotel. It's way cheaper than the mini bar. And Liquid Assets Inside Security has everything. I try to challenge myself to eat out only once per day, so it helps if I stay at a hotel with breakfast included, or somewhere with a kitchen like an Airbnb, and I always have my eye on the lookout for some happy hour specials. Hotels versus Airbnbs. Hotels, you can spend as much as you want or as little, but you know exactly what you're getting. If you want to save a little extra, consider staying in an airport hotel outside of the city center. Airbnbs can be great too, but make sure you read those reviews. Did you ever notice that it's the little things that add up when you travel? Like chargers, toiletries, and over-the-counter meds? Like the one time that I had to pay $45 for Tylenol and flu medication at the Philadelphia airport? So make a list and take that stuff with you. Oh, and if you can fit everything into a carry-on, you've won the travel game. No extra bag fees and no lost bags. <gasps> Scott, I forgot Scott. Hmm. Traveling alone saves money too.